Do a barrel floor. Uh, let's just go down with this one. Go ahead. Yes, yes! There we go, there we go. So we're probably gonna die, but at least she's gone. I say, there's also a guy up there who throws firebombs at you. So, like, this whole room is just a bunch of fucking bullshit meant to catch you out. Sort of reminiscent of, like, the Capra Demon fight from the first Dark Souls. Does anyone have any tips on the best way to approach this room, though? Because it is really rough. But the fact that we got rid of the statue will be useful, at least. I think I died on this, like, 20 times. <laughs> My first time playing this. You'll be able to get the... It stays. Or does it not? The first one stayed. And I picked it up. It should be on the ground down there. I just have to go and get it. Because I died at that first one still. Okay. At least one of you... I think I know. I think I know. Here. Get down there. Come right under me. I can plunging attack this guy. Maybe. No, I can't. Okay, one down. No! Okay, now we have to survive this thing. Oh, no! <laughs> yeah, see, the boss soul's still here. No problem. See, and he spouts fire, too. So you get stunned if you get close to him to hit him. What we can do, though... Ugh. Is not get hit by fire bombs! <laughs> that was the first true, deep rage hatred that I have felt through this entire playthrough. <laughs> was that moment right there. Hit the locked door to kill the grenadier. Pull all the barrel guys down. I feel like the barrel guys will just end up hitting and killing me. I think you're talking about the other locked door, if I had to guess. So let me go find that real quick. Wow, that, uh... That one really got to me. He said let them kill themselves. Okay, so... The locked door to kill the grenadier, which is over here in theory. What? What the fuck? That's all it- Wow, I never knew. And then you could shoot them from here. Wow. Fuck you, game. I mean, a locked door is typically a locked door, unless it's wooden, and then you can attack that. But in this case, no. It's a wooden... It's a it's a metal door that you should have no reason to think that you can attack it. Ah, uh, that's irritating to me. I 
After you. Go, go ahead. I guess I could try to get them all down there, but I'm not really sure what the purpose of getting them all down would do. Just a bigger explosion, I guess. And then I would go back out and around. Alluring skull works on the barrel, guys. Oh, good thinking. I'm still mad about that firebomb. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. I am furious. Can we shoot over this is the question. So let's put on a bow that I can use. Oh! They already blew up. It's like if they wander around close enough to the fire guy, again, his fire will ignite them and they will die. I can't even shoot over this, so it wouldn't matter. worth it. We killed one. Just gotta get used to these guys' attacks again. They're different. I mean, there's like a mild delay as all the big bosses tend to have. There's like enough of a delay to be hard to avoid. Just take the hit. Take it. Alright, good. 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 Good, good, good. Now we don't have, once we open this door, because there's a lever, once the lever is, is hit, you can just run through this. You don't have to do all this again. And let me tell you, the next area is just as bad, so it's just like really, really tough encounter after really, really tough encounter. See you later, Karalux. Thanks for all your help. Give some good tips and tricks. In short, hexes. I don't believe that. But I can try it. They are not weak to hexes at all. These enemies are very strange. They like do like these weird big spin moves and stuff. Uh, if they're in range of one of those Ashen Idols, the Ashen Idol actually revives them over and over and over. This might be a good time to just use a... an effigy, but I'm not really sure. So this area is kind of a trap, so it's important to... I wonder if this would work. I never use arrows, but... <laughs> These casters are just the actual worst. Okay, good. We knocked him off. That's big. Man, I feel like having a reliable bow would be really, really good. Like, re extremely useful. I should really get one, because Dark Orb, just the range on it is really, really low. See, he's still down there. We can kill him with spells, though. Okay. And then I think one spawns behind us. Yeah. All right, buddy. Where are you going? That was nice tracking. So now we put on like great heavy soul arrow or just heavy soul arrow, whichever one it is. And we cheese this guy. Not like that. This is dangerous, we're in range of him. Um, I just like took for granted that he won't be able to hit us. Oh god. Okay, now we seem good. Really? <sighs> okay. Still can't hit him from here? There's another one, too. 
these guys are, are truly a pain. They like warp behind you. They're just like big troll enemies. Wow. And as usual, they're pretty they're pretty resistant to all your spells. We're getting kind of close to the next bonfire, so if I can get through this, I would be really, really pleased. No! Oh, God, no! Man, we were doing pretty well there, too. Uh, I'm going to try some poison arrows. Those are always good. If I have any. You recommend using my thundering strikes attack? PS3 or Xbox. This is the Scholar of the First Sin version. So it's on PC and it's the PS4 version, actually. Okay. Back to it. Now, luckily, we don't have to do anything anymore in that one room that took us forever to pull the lever. We can just go down this ladder, drop down, and run through the door. <coughs> like crazy. Remember I said I was going to die a lot more in the DLC. Here you go. Okay, so we drop. We run. We get hit still, because the axe guys can jump from a mile away. Now, those guys do not follow you through the door, I believe. Yeah, see, they'll stay there. Uh, let me see what kind of bolts do I have. Not many. Again. Again. Oh my god. That was a very nice stun lock. I'll give that to him. Jesus. That one sword man. I thought I'm like, okay, I can handle one sword man. No, I cannot handle one sword man. This guy's tricky to take out from long range. Because he... So his spells can go the whole way. <laughs> but mine can't, of course. Okay, all right, all right. Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> oh. This is one of the worst areas. It's funny because I said that about the last room and then someone gave me a, uh, Cybran gave me the trick to blow the grenadier up through the door, which helped a lot, but now this area out here, I just don't know the right way to take out these casters. They're really, really challenging. They're immune to most kinds of... Not immune, but they're hugely resistant to most of the types of uh, spells. I just don't know. Woohoo! Really? So, we're going to try something slightly different. We're going to run forward. We're going to aggro him. We're going to back up. Okay, I thought the other one would spawn, but he did not. He did not. The AoE on that is just... It's such garbage. Ooh, the other one came all the way down here, too. Fucking fuck. <laughs> Fucking lightning man. I think si these are some of the worst enemies in the game. If I haven't made that clear. I, I genuinely hate them. Alright, we knocked one off. 
Okay, good. This guy doesn't really seem to know what he's doing. Okay, don't roll off. Just don't. Just don't roll off. Use magic to kill these guys. When you get close, they teleport behind you and backstab you. And if you're not 100% prepared for it, it will pretty much instant kill you. Okay, goodbye. The other one's still down there too, keep in mind. Of course. I really hate to do it this way. But I sort of feel like it's the only the only proper way. Cuz killing these guys is is just awful. He might be close enough for a dark orb if we do it from here. Fall off the ledge. Ha! Ha ha ha! Now we have to get down here without dying. Because if you recall, when I fell down here, they were like, oh, I don't know, a million enemies? <laughs> so, the caster is still alive. Please. As long as the caster doesn't kill us. Oh. The intensity builds! Ah, oh, we killed the caster! Alright. Hey! <laughs> we'll do that later. Um, there's a bonfire very close. I'm going to go through this area next. This area's got some traps in it. There's some enemies that just pop up out of the ground. Like a big old bunch of assholes. Like that. Not today. Dark weapon guarantees. Dark weapon guarantees the one hit kill. Soul of a Great Hero, was it worth it? You decide. Holy shit. Okay, well, we're never going through this zone again. Or this area again. What a shit show. <laughs> Lots of bloodstains here. And they put a fog door here just so you couldn't run by it all. Bunch of assholes. All right. Bonfire. This is not it. This is a locked door. Okay. Bonfire, please. <laughs> oh, lordy. All righty. So let's go. <laughs> Lewis soul has been reclaimed. Oh, we got a great hero soul, didn't we? <clears throat> You can't blame me for using those. That's 20,000 souls. So good. Okay, so unfortunately these guys come back. Not that big of a deal. I don't plan on killing these guys every single time, though. You don't have to. Um, but there's another soul. There's another Nadalia soul. Out here. Raw stone. So the raw enchantment apparently is really good. Or the raw transfusion is really good. <clears throat> in this game compared to... Ah, uh, the first game. 
Nobody, you, no, you never did the raw upgrade path. Okay, so there's an invasion here. Maldron the Assassin is such garbage. He tends to run away from you, so I'm going to ignore him right now, and I'm going to go another way. And cl basically clear this out, because he won't come after you until you get very close to him. So I'm going to go this way. And I'm going to kill uh, the Nadalia statue. Hopefully that kills those guys. Silver Talisman. More ghosts. Now these ghosts will come back to life. They also are like... Okay, well, first off, they curse you. And they're like Mondo Archers. So now we run by him. In fact, it might be worthwhile just running by all of this stuff. The importance is... Yeah, we're constantly getting cursed. It's right here. Okay, so this will debuff the enemies. I'm going to go back up for a little bit. Okay, now we gotta clean this up, but the important thing is that the Bride of Ash is gone. That archer down there. Again, they're, they're like snipers. No matter how fast you're running and in what direction, they just... They hit you perfectly every time. Okay, so we take care of that. If I can kill all these enemies, then I'll go and, and, and get Maldron. Okay. Uninterruptible attacks, you know, it is what it is. Okay, now they those are possessed armors. They they won't come back once you've killed the N the Nadalia statues. He tries to trap you into BS areas. Yeah, I love the way he's designed. It's actually really funny. So like you think you're doing well against him and then he just sprints away from you. And then he'll, what he does is he runs all the way down to like here-ish. So you chase him and then you realize that you're just stuck down here now. Okay, there's a trap here, I think. Yep. Let's just lure him. I am not afraid. I'm not ashamed to do this given the amount of bullshit that this part of the game throws at you. Like, how many enemies at once? No! Okay. Good. Trap evaded. Now we can try to kill Maldron. If we don't get him, I'm not that concerned, only because we don't need anything in this area. Also, you might want to be popping effigies a lot around here just because the enemies, uh, they curse you, as you saw. Anytime you're near those Nadalia statues, some of them curse you, so you just lose your max health constantly. Can we rewatch your Dark Souls 2 streams? Yeah, so, uh, oh, Majestic Greatsword. If you join my Discord, I have all the stream archives there, so you can watch all of it from start to finish. That's the only place they are currently. Eventually, when my Dark Souls Remastered series is done, which should be in a couple weeks, of uh, just being released on YouTube, then uh, I'll start releasing the VODs of the Dark Souls 2 things in, uh, in pieces. So, the answer is, you can right now if you join the Discord. If you don't want to do that, then in a couple weeks, maybe a month or so, all the episodes will start coming out separately anyway. All right, Maldrin is actually an asshole. I think our best bet to kill him is to spam Dark Orb or to hit him with uh, our, an, our R2 attack so that he gets uh, basically perma-stunned. So around half health, he's gonna, well, that. 
Put the staff away. Jesus. I'm dead. Oh, maybe not. Around half health, he's going to start running away from us. So the key is, can we get a good hit on him that can stun lock him? Again, our R2 can stun lock him. Oh, there he goes. Now, keep in mind, we've already cleared this out. So we don't have to worry that much about... About him down here. We'll just fight him like normal. Or maybe he'll die! <laughs> you idiot! I'm so lucky I didn't have to actually fight him again. Let's see if he dropped anything. I don't think so, but wow, that's lucky. He's in two other... Well, I think he's only in one other place, and it's in the Ivory King DLC. But uh, that's actually really satisfying to watch him fall. He's the most like a, a human player, I think. Sometimes he'll just fall. He'll perfectly dodge all your attacks and just follow you around until you go to like pull a lever or something, and then he'll backstab and kill you instantly. He's just that's just like how he rolls. So anyway, we got the we got the soul of the Bride of Ash. I just found Artorius' sword. Cool. Maybe I'll use that. Maybe I will. I gotta try out some other stuff. I've been using this sword forever. I really want to do the Roaring Halberd build. Because it's pretty fun. I don't even think I'm gonna pop an effigy here. I don't see much of a point. Considering how quickly we lose... Our, uh, our humanity. You always push NPC invaders down to their deaths like that? Yeah, it's, it's pretty satisfying when that you get kind of a free free NPC kill. Put it in your left hand. I probably don't have the correct stats to use this, just a heads up, so. Also, I have to find it in this big mess of stuff. That's cool. It's cool. Lo yeah, that definitely looks like Artorius' sword. That's great. You get his little spin move. All right. Yeah, I, I don't have the stats to wield it right now, but I like that quite a bit. Uh, where's my staff? So I think this is the only way to really go right now. Again, this is a whole other area where there's a bunch of different stuff to do. And once you turn the elevators on, it gets even more confusing. But if you want all the loot, you gotta do it. Just covering myself in water for the, the buff so we take less damage from fire. This is fun to do. Eat shit. Oh, he was just standing in it for a while. Nice, we knocked him into it. Okay, we can go around this area and open up all these grates. <clears throat> I don't know if there's really an advantage to opening these or not. Because you don't have to open all of them, but you can. Okay. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is super satisfying, considering that they frequently teleport behind you. Nothing personal, kid. Some breakable walls here. Okay, I'll look into that. Oh, don't walk into the spikes. Oh my god, really? They're both in like a really shitty area right now. We gotta push this one back into the fire. Ah! <sighs> yeah, we can always come back and do this separately. There we go. That should kill at least one of them. A 
Okay, yeah, see, this all loops around in some fashion. So you're saying I should push one of these guys here down to that end? And that, like, the wall I'm looking at right now is destructible? Or is it a different one? <clears throat> God, I hate these guys so much. And it's just, it's too dangerous to try to get right up close to them. I mean, we got like 70 plus Dark Orb casts, we might as well use them. Oh, okay. Took that one on the chin. These guys are hard again. It's similar to Blue Smelter, where they're wind up. It's almost like randomized which, like whether it's a fast attack or a slow attack. So you're constantly risking huge amounts of damage based on how fast you think they're going to swing. Whew! Okay. There we go. Oh, there's a crack in the wall. Okay, well now that we've got all this open, we can we can just move some of these guys there. It's our helm. Human effigy. Like firebomb, okay. So let me look and see. Don't see a crack in the wall. Still don't really see what I should be looking for. Okay, well, let's try to push. Weren't there more of these guys? They must have gotten blown up. Hey, go this way. No, no, go this way. Go ahead. There you go. So not down here. Or it's or are you saying it's already open? Okay. <laughs> here. Just to be diligent, it's not that it's not that one. <laughs> As we have just learned. It's already open. Okay. More of this. Oh, I remember. Oh, yeah, that big fire golem that we killed, he's behind the wall. I know what you're talking about. That must have opened somehow on its own. Okay, so this is a shortcut back to the bonfire, so we don't have to go through that garbage with the casters again. Oh, so you're saying there's another one? I guess we can go and... And check in a hot second. Let me let me just sit at the bonfire, get my charges back, get my Estus back. Really did not want to have to kill this guy again. It's just the, the fire is so dangerous because it can stun lock you and then he hits you and you're dead. Oh, you bitch. Oh, he has caster support. Can we push these guys into the spikes? Yes, you can! Oh, that's great. Okay, that's really useful. 
really. Let's just not really risk it. Hang on, let me S this. I see the hole in the wall, by the way. God damn it. There we go. There we go. Ay, ay, ay. Nice. Katarina sets. We got the helm from the other from the other area. Let me just look and see if we see if we can see where the other hole in the wall is. That's what I was talking about. He warps behind you like a flippin' asshole. Okay, good miss. Finally, we had a situation where the enemy needed some poise. I think that's the only one. I don't see a different one. Uh-oh. We're gonna blow ourselves up. <laughs> I think these guys are here to... are placed essentially to... Uh, help you find the holes in the walls. See you later, Butane. Tell your brother thanks again. Okay, I think we're safe to leave. The wall is where the message is. I've, I've, I've checked almost all of them. Okay. We'll give this a shot. Let's see if we can get this guy over there. No, 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 not that way. Please. Please. Okay. Come on. No. Go. <laughs> God, this is awful. This is agonizing. Okay. There you go. We've opened both of the holes for the treasure, which I inevitably will not use. But we can become Onion Man now. This might be the leggings. No. Eight dragon bones? You're right. That was worth it. I take everything I said back. Okay. So this area is done. We did the Muldron area also. Pretty good progress. So now we head over to this tower. I don't remember what this is. I don't think this is a boss. No, it is not. I think I'm gonna go through this zone because there's there's loot to get here. Ooh, and a brazier. Actually, you don't want to light those. That's a mistake to light those. Because they just spout fire and they light these guys on fire. <laughs> and that's it. It's a trick. Though at the same time, I sort of committed to lighting every brazier. And you can't really see shit in this area. Man, I love how my spells are just capped at 300. Like, there's no... It's not like there's, like, a resistance percentage. They just peak at 300 and simply cannot go above it. It's such garbage. Who designed... Who thought that that was a good idea? Summon it from software. Because otherwise, I think these DLCs are okay. Sunken King is a little boring and lame, but, like, this one's great. Oh, the full Katarina set is throughout the three DLCs. All right, well, then we're going to get... We're, we'll get the other one soon, then. Well, I'm banking on the fact that I won't be going through this area again, but I'm pretty sure I'll have to. But let's light the torches. We can't go this far through the game.
and not light everything. But yeah, those little crawly guys, they just crawl through the fire and light a flame and then chase you around. It's awful. Quick sword, Rachel! No! Don't put poison on, you piece of shit. She is pretty quick. She's pretty quick! Ha! Ha 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 ha! Oh my god, I parried her! I parried something! I didn't even mean to do that, it just happened! I am a god. I am an actual golden god at this game. <laughs> Holy shit! Okay, let me go get my torch. Well, you got to see the parrying, and see the re the parrying knocks people. It knocks them down. Oh, we can't actually light our torch on these. It knocks them over, and then you repost them while they're just like lying on the ground like an idiot for a while. It's really strange, and I don't like it. But that is just sort of the way it is. That's just the way it is. I shouldn't be lighting these. I really shouldn't. This is just to my detriment to do this. Well, so that's what those guys do now you've seen it. They just leap at you like a bunch of clowns. Dung pie. Finally. Finally, some dung pies. What I've been waiting for this whole time. So some of these are traps, some of these have items, and one of them is the way to go, but I don't remember which is which. Yep, there's a caster. Okay. A little cheesy, but it works. <laughs> Just keep them stun locked. Hey, they do it to me, so. A lot of twinkling titanite. We can definitely level up the rest of our hexer set, even though I kind of want to change my gear here pretty soon. Also, these guys can leap from, like, a mile away. Ah! Ah! Okay. <laughs> they also blow themselves up. You guys like my screams of terror? That's... <laughs> ah! Ah! Okay, this is the one we actually have to go through. Quicksword NPC doesn't even use a rapier. Yeah. At least those things you can just sort of bait into using their attack animation. So that's not too bad. Uh, okay, so let's get out of here. Hopefully we find a bonfire soon because I really, really don't want to go through this whole area again. We're sort of getting to the point where I'm going to need to start crunching some herbs to get some of my casts back, actually. Okay, okay. So some of them just instantly blow themselves up, so that's good. Killed another one. Let's see if we can bait some of these into blowing themselves up. 
Uh oh. I hate this. There we go. Good, good, good. We take a tiny bit of fire damage to touch them, but then it causes them to blow up. Worth it. Okay, great. Wow, we're rolling with enough souls that we could level up right now. Alright, so this is what we've needed for a while. The Scorching Iron Scepter. So if we can bring that back to Broom Tower... Then we can effectively turn all the elevators on and... I don't know. Turn it into Isengard, basically. It just becomes this big molten factory. The crown of... Of which DLC is good? For casters? Because I found that none of them were. I played through most of... I, I had to switch... Um, from Sorcerer to Melee during the Iron King. Or, I'm sorry, the, uh, the Ivory King. Specifically because... Everything was so resistant. The enemies on that one, the frozen guys, with the spears especially, are just god awful. Ho ho. Ho ho. Okay, I think we're getting close to looping back around. Maybe? Oh, okay. Good, good, good. So actually, <clears throat> you may have noticed there was a place right around here that we could probably jump to. Yeah. I don't know what this is. Okay, a dry, a dried root. Uh, I could use the the feather, but I don't remember if there's anything between here and the bonfire, so I am just going to follow the pathway back. Not going to go to the second floor. Is that where I just was? Oh, yeah, okay. Just to clarify. <clears throat> it, it's not like the reward was... It was a dried root, that was it. But, again, we've been pretty diligent. There's still a single item back at uh, the Sunken King DLC that I missed. I'll probably just go and get it off camera because I'm a crazy person. And also, I'm going to keep... Uh, I'm probably going to keep... Uh, co oping bosses at my soul level. I could probably do it in the DLCs now. Because I want more sunlight medals. Oh, you mean the crown you get from Ivory King? Or is it or is it the iron I don't remember which one. But one of them makes it so that you regenerate your spell cast, which is flippin' awesome. Okay, and I should have just feathered back, but that's fine. We're right here. Hello, Justin Zhao. Is this the right way to get back to the thing that we have to put the thing in? I think so. The thing in the thing, let's go! Man, this game just keeps going and going and going and going and going. There we go. Huzzah! So this is gonna unlock a shit ton of stuff. We're actually getting very close to Fume Knight who I'll probably try to kill before we do anything else. Because we gotta get all the Nadalia souls. I mean, we don't have to, but I'm going to. Uh, we have to kill Blue Smelter, and we have to kill Sir Alon. 
So I think now would be a, gr a good time to stop for today. Because we've been going for five and a half hours, right? So this would be, yeah, I think this would be a great time to stop. We've turned on Broom Tower. So we can either go back up and collect stuff, or we can go down, down, down. 